everyone uh, in this video we are talking about a google type search system a question and answer system where a particular user can specify a particular query and then that will be loaded into the corpus which is question answer pair.txt and the particular answer will be displayed if it is found in the corpus so the corpus basically let me tell you what the corpus basically is the first column is the article title uh, so this is basically a lot of data first being the first column is the article title second is the question and then is the particular answer to that question and then we have three columns that we don't really need okay so then is the stop words to txt here you can basically specify what words you want to ignore while searching for a query uh, then we have the main code that is to it with py here you basically specify all the logger information so what you want to display to the user when the code runs and like you take an uh, input query from this code and you have the main code over here and then we from here we go to the extras folder where we have three codes first one being the book a.py so book a.py basically specifies the type of query so we have uh, a question particular answer to that question and the document in which that question was found uh, so uh, let me scroll down over here so this is the main code which we really want to talk about that is the def search uh, search books so basically you look into your uh, corpus if you found that particular question then what is the particular answer and you return over here then we have the search.py where actually we perform the ranking and all so this is the tfidf ranking yeah so basically we're using tfidf rank to sort out uh, our corpus so uh, whenever the user en enters a query we we create a tfidf rank uh, we first create an array of all the answers that we found according to that query and then uh, we do we uh, we apply tfidf over it and then we display the results accordingly so this is basically this class is exactly what i just said uh, it builds the rank according to that computes the rank creates the index searches and then loads it and this util.py is is an extra uh, f function that we don't really need you can remove it if you want so this is basically to keep a log of the time that took to find the query uh, let me quickly show you how to start it so I'll just go over here and I'll run my code with python to a.py so it says ranking on the basis of loading loading data set and started the search engine okay so now we enter a query what will that query let's say I don't know was Lincoln the first president okay so it found two answers was Lincoln the first president of United States that's the question answer is no found in the document Abraham Lincoln and so there are basically multiple entries in the data set and it's displaying both uh, let me take one more example to make sure that the code actually works okay so let's pick up this question what did the legal act of 1862 establish I'll copy this paste this uh, let's do one thing let's not enter all the keywords let's remove some keywords what did the legal tender act establish let's take this as the question okay so it found the question what did the legal tender act of 1862 establish answer united states note the first paper currency and so on uh, gives it a score of 1.38 and again found the same answer so gives it the same score yeah so basically this is the case when it has the multiple uh, entries in the corpus but both are the same so it gives them the same score let's take one more example where we have uh, different answers so to, to be sure that uh, it gives different scores okay so let me take uh, let me take this one who was the general in charge at battle of antietam 
Oke. Okay. Oh, who? Okay, let's just paste it. Uh, let's again remove some keywords. In charge at and the atom. Right. Uh, I think I misspelled and datum. Okay. Uh, okay. So the question is, who was general in charge and so on? Answer is John, General John McLennan and document name is Abraham Lincoln gives it a score of 2.488 and here the question is who was general in charge at Battle of Antietam answer is Alexander McLaren gives it a score of 2.4 so different answers uh, the one with the longer name gets a higher score so yeah uh, the system is working properly if you have any queries make sure to type in the comments Make sure to like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel, thank you so much for watching, peace.